In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make distilled water. Why do you want distilled water? Well, distilled water has a lot of health benefits um, because it does remove uh, toxins out of the water. It does uh, remove bacteria. Uh, it takes all of the mineral content out of the water, by the way, as well. Distilled water is very, very good for your vehicle, um, like when you're making car batteries or replenishing car batteries. It has uh, benefits with, um, you know, cleaning your coffee maker. Um, but because of what's happening in the world today with the coronavirus, um, distilled water, I've been doing a lot of research on this and you need to do the research yourself. But if you go to WebMD and if you go to a lot of these other online sources that know what they're talking about a lot more than I do, what they're saying is, is, is that there are actual health benefits to drinking distilled water. But it also comes with a warning is, is that if you drink too much of it, it also uh, does not have the mineral content and the electrolytes that your body needs to maintain stable health. So if you're going to drink distilled water, I want to warn you up front two different things. One, it's going to be pure. I mean, absolutely pure. Um, and in the fact that it, this is the simple fact that it's pure means that you're not going to have the mineral content that your body actually needs from drinking regular drinking water. But the other thing is, is that uh, you can supplement your diet with the minerals that are lost, like the potassium and I think it's, um, I think it's potassium and I think it's also magnesium that is not in um, distilled water. You can get that supplemented back into your diet or just simply by drinking regular tap water. Now, why do you want to do this is, is this. Uh, from the research I've been uh, the, from the research that I've been shown so far, um, distilled water is uh, is a really great uh, antibacterial and antiviral um, uh, supplement to your diet. I don't, I don't want I want to say supplement because you don't want to replace uh, what you're drinking uh, altogether with only distilled water. But from what I've read so far, and you need to like I said, you need to do your own research. It has health benefits um, if you're sick uh, and and a lot of just a huge list of other things. So it's really easy to do. You can do this from your own kitchen and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. And if you can do this in, in as fast as you can boil water basically. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. Now I'm not gonna take you all the way through the video because it's boring. I'm just gonna show you what are the steps, what you need to do. And then on your own, when you're all said and done, you're gonna be amazed at what happens. And I've done this before. Um, I've also done it to um, to uh, seed my Hermidor for Hermidor, Herfidor, or whatever for my cigars. Um, and there's lots of other reasons to do it. So check this out. You need a pot, just a big pot. And you want to get it on one of your rapid flames. And so right here, I've got it set on the power burner on my range. And we got the water, the water boiling here, or getting ready to boil. Now, I've filled up the, the pot with enough water to get this guy here to float so you can kind of see the reflection right there in the back that i may be filling it oh a, th a third to halfway what's going to happen is is as the water boils here it's going to um turn to steam and that steam somehow needs to be collected and it needs to be returned inside this bowl over here and what comes off that steam and returns into this bowl over here is distilled water. So I'm going to take an oversized glass lid and I'm going to put that over the top. Now the purpose of this oversized glass lid here is that the steam is going to collect and you can already start to see it starting to want to collect on the underside of this glass lid. But what will happen is, is it's going to collect and it's going to hit this handle here and as it hits this handle the droplets are going to come off the top of the, the front the, the front of this handle and it's going to go down into this pot. And then the next step after that um, is all said and done is you're going to just go and get yourself a household measuring cup. And when you're done, you're just going to scoop it out of that, you know, out of that container and then pour this into... Um, into a closed container um, like you know, this is my coffee thing from Starbucks whatever you know but you can put it into a thermal flask or something like that to be able to preserve it 
and it'll basically keep forever. Now, if you want to speed up the condensation, and this is something that I've learned on my own because this is not the first time I've done this, uh, the one thing that you can do to speed up the condensation, and you can already start to see it forming right here. Look at how fast this has happened, right? If you want to speed up the condensation, then the one last step is, is this. Ice. So grab some ice out of your ice maker and take that ice. and load up your um, your lid. And by doing that, what that does is that creates um, some sort of a thing, I don't know what it does. Look, I'm not a scientist, I just know how stuff works. But it's gonna create um, a better whatever, put your comments down below and explain the science behind it. I'm sure that some of the people that watch my channel are going like, oh yeah, I know what he's doing, but he's using wrong, wrong terminology. All I know is, is that it works. It works as good as this. If I flip this switch, I don't need to understand how electricity works, but I know that it works. Same situation here. So check that out. There's our condensation starting to form. We haven't even, even started to boil water yet, but we are making distilled water. So again, this is just this has nothing to do with ponding. I just have a YouTube channel. I have a tribe. I have a following. And, um, and I know that a lot of you guys that might be tuning into my YouTube channel, you might be saying, what does this have to do with building ponds or water features? The truth of the matter is, is that I'm just a normal person just like you guys are. What I do for a living is super cool and I love what I do, but I also live a life just like you guys do. And I'm just like everyone else that is out there uh, that is at some point going to be affected by this virus. And what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to share some of the things that I've picked up along the way. And I hope that you share this video too. Um, if you share this video, uh, you know, start the discussion, you know, put it into social media and talk about, you know, why this is a bad idea or why this is a good idea or why you should be doing this in moderation. I'm sure that there's a bunch of doctors that are watching my channel or people that know more than I do that or, you know, that people that are in medicine and they're going to be like, hey, don't do this is a bad idea or you know what, do it, but do it in moderation. And for whatever it is, whatever purpose it is. The idea behind here is not to feed into what I personally believe is uh, hysteria, but I think that by doing this, it kind of gives you a tool that you can use. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens. I build amazing water features. Check out my website, www.columbiawatergardens.com, and uh, leave your comments down below. And I'm here to remind you that you can make distilled water right in your kitchen. Happy ponding.